Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello guys, how are you today? Hello. Fine, teacher. Fine, fine. Fine, teacher. That sounds good. Sounds like like if you had a lot of fun today. No. Not today. No. Okay, that sounds that sounds bad. Okay, let me see. Okay, wait. Okay, what are the others? They disappeared. Okay, we have the trees, we have Sergio, Julio, George, and Jaime. Okay, I think they will be joining later, right? Okay, that we, what do we have for today? Maria conditionals. No vocabulary with antonyms. This is the one. God, this is slow. Okay. Accept. To know about antonyms and synonyms help you increase your vocabulary. Take a look at the following antonyms and find its opposite. Listen carefully and repeat. Accept. Admit. Agree. Borrow. Deny. Disagree. Dislike. Divorce. Enjoy, find, forget, lend, lose, marry, refuse, remember, save, spend. Now that you have listened to that pronunciation, make a chart on your notebook and complete it. Stay to see what we want you to do next. We want you to choose four pairs of opposites. Write sentences using each pair. Make a chart on your notebook and complete it. Stay. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, we have the pair to say yesterday, accept. What was the opposite of accept? Refuse. Okay, to refuse, right? So we have the first one, accept and refuse. Then uh, admit. Deny. 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 Admit and deny. Okay, what could be a sentence you see in accept and refuse? I refuse that invitation. I refuse that invitation. I, I accept the uh -huh. new joy, job. Uh-huh, okay. I refuse his invitation and I accept it. Okay, this could be another one, right? I refuse his invitation, but I accepted his presence. Exactly. Okay. I refuse the, let's say the, the oh, uh, my, let's say my, what else could be my, I refuse the the race in my in my job, but I accepted a better job or a new job. Okay, so this is something that we can probably use, you know, using this this uh, pairs of words. What about admit and deny? 
you can use but a sentence using admit and deny mm -hmm. yesterday uh, i i received one emails for different people but i don't know and i admit the message but i deny for different subject for example different server such as uh, hi-fi.com. Okay, yes. So you deny the, the acceptance, you deny the access. Okay. okay. To those ones. Okay, that would be one. All right, good. What is another one? One more practice of uh, Alexera divorcing Mary. Come on, Ronnie. <laughs> Come on, right. Okay. I I like to marry again. <laughs> <laughs> what? And then, with the, with the same <laughs> woman. <laughs> okay. Then yeah, you say, right. uh, I like the to. <laughs> okay, uh, you, you can say, right? Um, I like to. This, this is going to be, you know, probably a, I don't know, very romantic one that you can say, I like to marry again with the same woman because. I will never, or we will never get divorced. Okay. So this is, you know, one you, way. You, to... You're stalling my friends. No, that's what you said. That's what you said. <laughs> that, I just, <laughs> okay. yeah, just completed the idea. Uh -huh. Okay. Exactly. You, you, you say clearly. <laughs> <laughs> no, because uh, you didn't use divorce. Uh -huh, and then, but that's okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yesterday, what is another one? I, yesterday I went to divorce. Now. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Yesterday you wanted to divorce. Now, <laughs> yes. no, I know. And now, <laughs> and now because she's in front of me. <laughs> okay, and now I want to get, get married. Again. Let's get married again. Okay. All right. Good. Now you can use the set, the two the two words in a sentence. The, okay. Good. Is is re, renew both or what do you say? When you renew. Votes, votes. Ah, the votes. Renovar, uh -huh. uh, the vows. Renov vows. Renovar. Yes, when you renew the vows. Uh -huh, the vows. Renew the vows. Oh. Yes, yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. Every, every what? Every one hundred years, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I think that is when. I think I it's want. every twenty-five years or something. Twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five, or Seven. something. Like that. Okay, it's good. The, the uh, Beatrice, Beatrice is, is, an, is an expert on, on weddings. Yes. She's a yes. wedding planner. Right, Beatrice? No, teacher. No. I'm a lawyer, but I'm an expert okay. so in activities. Ah. I can divorce <laughs> and I can ah. marry. Okay, okay. <laughs> right, in divorce. <laughs> yes, too. All, okay. too. All right, very good. Okay, How much great. Do you <laughs> well, Ronnie is really interested. <laughs> yes. We have, we have a discount in this group. Of course, of course. For divorce for, and for, for marriage. Classmates. For English classmates. I okay, so this is a, I, I'm going to leave this commercial here, right? So we have Beatrice, yeah. and the commercial is that you have a special price. If you, have, if, you have, if you get divorced and marry at the same time, yes. <laughs> you you go with the old one with the new one, right? So then that's uh, yeah. Next, yes. The old one. Okay. You Next, save money. The new one. You save time. Okay. Yes. Okay. And what is another one? We have agree and disagree. Another sentence. Agree and disagree. Okay, Jonathan, Robert, Mr. Armando, anybody say agree and disagree using the two words in one, in one or two sentences. You can write on the chat too. Don't pro <clears throat> no problem.
You can use in your uh -huh. admit and deny. Okay. Uh -huh. Tell me a sentence using admit and deny. Um, your number was an admitter. Mm -hmm. And your petition was denied. In your? Your petition okay. was denied. Was denied, yes. Your number was admitted, but your petition was denied. So you got something, but you lost the other part. Okay, what else? Yes, Jaime. Um, I agree with the sanitary measures. Okay. But for the COVID you can say, for example, I agree with the uh, sanitary uh, uh, sanitary uh, protocols, but I disagree with what? But I disagree with the uh, expenses or with the cost, right? With the cost of all the the materials that you have to use, you know, for these protocols. So that's what some people that have companies are complaining about, right? That the cost is also a little bit high. Okay, that would be one. Okay, Gio, sentence with two words. Mm. Let me see. Teacher, I have a question after Gio. Mm -hmm. I can remember I can remember how to play that song, but I forget some of the some of the um, some of the tips to do more easy on the card. Okay, good. I can remember how to play the song, but you forgot how some tips on how to play it easier. Okay. Yes. Good, good. Uh -huh. Who has the question? I have a question. Uh -huh. For example, which of the difference between admit and allow? And? Allow. 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 Uh, it's like a synonym. There might be some... Uh, Technical. Uh -huh, some, uh -huh, there might be some context in which admit will be more, probably more uh, what? A, more formal to use it, right? Than allowed. For example, mm -hmm. uh, a, if you go to a university, for example, that could be admission, right? Not allowance, okay? So then mm -hmm. that makes, right? there are some, in some cases, but it's, it's like a synonym. I think that is that technical. Because, uh -huh. for yes. example, when, when I give a, a permission, I use it, the server says yes. allow. allow or mm -hmm. deny. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. Enable or disable. Uh -huh. Exactly. That's correct. So it's more technical and it depends on the context. So that you, you can, for example, if uh, a, in this, in this, for example, in this session, uh, you all are allowed okay to to join in because no, you have no, a, okay. because you have a you have a password okay i can i don't have to give you permission to 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 enter in the session yeah. right mm -hmm. when, or i cannot even deny that you get in and you get out and, and if you log in or you log out for example if i get in and get out log in and log out it's more proper to use login and log out when you're talking about this kind of sessions, right? And yes, sometimes has to be with some technicism. Okay, good. Okay, good, good, good. What else? One more. One more example. Okay. Well, they have two. Who's the lady who said first? Carla. Okay, Carla. Go ahead, Carla. Okay, I enjoy cook, but I dislike make the dishes. <laughs> Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, I enjoy cooking, but I dislike doing the dishes. Doing the dishes. Okay. 
I agree. I I agree with you. <laughs> I totally agree. Okay. What else? Uh, who said uh, me again? Somebody else? Me, me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Jonathan. Right. I have to. Uh -huh. I remember the earthquake of January two thousand and one. Okay. January two thousand. Okay, yes. Yeah, and another is uh, I always forget my marriage date. You have a potential, a potential customer here. If you have a problem, I can help you. <laughs> yes. you, know. oh you will God. die. Yeah. One you will die. Days, a diamond. She's going to, you know, your wife is going to ask you to leave that house. Yes. Okay. How can you forget? <laughs> Sorry for like you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's a great problem for me. It's a, yes, it's a big problem. Right. Okay, good. Okay, what else? Do we have another one? Oh, Sergio, Sergio, you're here. Sergio? Hi. Uh, well, uh, <clears throat> uh, I always lose my keys, but uh, and I couldn't find it uh, so easy. Okay, I, I always I always lose my keys, and I cannot find them easily. Okay, easy. easily. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Easily because it's a it's an adverb in that case. Good. Another one. Uh, I don't know. Yes. Okay, Jaime. Yes. Oh, Jorge. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, since I got married, I couldn't say money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, since I got married, I, I got married, uh -huh. I couldn't say money. I can't. Yes. Okay, I, I can't say money. Okay. Yes. Well, it's uh, married and say, but you no, know, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's true, you know, it's like when the, when children come up, you know, you forget about it sleeping. Yeah. Okay, what else, what else, what else? I have one. Okay, Jaime. I found my key, but lost my glasses. I found my key, but I lost my glasses. Okay, so these are things that we are you know, constantly losing or misplacing. Okay, uh, probably let me see uh, another one. Yes, misplaced, I don't want to lose. Okay, what else? To see what we want you to do next. Sorry, okay, what else? One more. If you get divorced, you lose your money. If you get divorced, then you lose your money. Okay, that's another one. Then you see you can also combine them, right? Yes. Okay, so this is another, yes, you see, little by little, you are uh, using different, uh, creating. You buy your structure. freedom. You buy? Your freedom. You buy your freedom <laughs> when? <laughs> when you get divorced. <laughs> when you get divorced. You buy your freedom. <laughs> I guess. Okay. okay you yeah. lose money, but, but you win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then, then, then you don't lose. Then you invest. You invest yeah. on your freedom. <laughs> yes. Okay. In case in, yes. You're right. Okay. Good. Okay, people. Then, if we don't have, uh, let's say, more uh, here, I want you to because we're gonna use this ones here. Hey, Carla, can you please read this? instruction, I mean, the, the lesson objective here. Okay. By the end of this class, participants will be introduced to the past models in order from them to talk about actions in the past. Okay, good. Remember, this is what I showed you yesterday, right? So yes. then uh, what we were talking about here last night is about should. Well, let's watch the video and Take notes, pay attention, and then if you have questions about the structure, 
you let me know and after we move on to the practice okay now listen suggestions about actions in the past join us and learn how to do it past modals use would have or should have plus past participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past what should I have done you should have told them about it you shouldn't have hidden it what would you have done I would have called him I wouldn't have sent him an email when and how do we use past models we use past models to give opinions and suggestions about actions that already happened to give opinions we use would have plus past participle and to give suggestions we use should have plus past participle but in both cases our opinion or suggestion is too late remember for statements we must use subject plus would have or should have plus past participle plus the rest of the sentence for questions we add wh question word plus would or should plus subject plus have plus past participle and the question mark let's read these situations it is your task to come up with suggestions Remember, you may use would or wouldn't have, or should or shouldn't have. Type your answers in our discussion box. Number one. Your teacher borrowed your favorite book and spilled coffee all over it. Number two. You saw a classmate cheating on an exam. Number three. Okay, questions? in our discussion box number one your is it clear remember for statements we must use subject plus would have or should have plus past participle plus the past participle participle opinions and suggestions about have sent him an email okay from here okay now here you can see the, the structure right what should I have done okay or what would I have done what would you have done would you have done? Uh -huh. and they say you would have called him you wouldn't have sent him an email okay yeah. It would be for a example, wrong opinion. Uh, somehow, yes. For example, what should I have done? What would you have done? Uh, suppose that if you, I saw, uh, I saw a, uh, I saw my. Let's see what I mean. I saw my my best friend cheating on an exam okay i saw my best friend cheating an exam so then uh what would you have done if you had been in my place in, like, in that moment what would you have done mm. ask copy yeah <laughs> <laughs> not because uh, I, was, I was not in the test i was you mean I share. Uh -huh. share. 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 Share the answers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't you share the answer with me? Okay, so that we. You oh. should. You should share. Share. You should share. You should share the okay. answers. That uh, is that what you yes. would do? You, you would ask him to share with you. you it's a supposed teacher. It's an example. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, what else? Um, for example, I saw I saw an accident today and I didn't want to stop my car. I kept on driving. What uh, what would you have done? What would you have done? 
I, I would have called an ambulance. <laughs> uh -huh, okay. Then you say, I would have called an ambulance. Or for example, you can say, you know what? You should have called yeah. an ambulance. At least. At least. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's more a suggestion. Uh huh. It's a, this is something that a, a suggestion for something that you should have done and you didn't do, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is uh, also, this is when you're talking about a, an opinion, a suggestion. What should I have done? You should have done this. What would you have done? Then I okay. call him. Okay. Now, no questions about it? Just yeah. yeah, remember, to give suggestion, should have plus past participle. Since we use should have plus past participle. But in both cases, our opinion or suggestion is too late. Mm -hmm. Remember, for statements, we must use subject plus would have or should have plus passes our opinion or suggestion is too late what happened with the with the when the opinion or suggestion is too late how do you for example when a uh, uh, today i i got wet because i went i went to the park and it started raining then I got wet. Then you can say, you should have taken an umbrella. To take an umbrella. Yeah. And you should have, then you say, you should have, you should have taken an umbrella. But I didn't do it, right? So then in that yeah. case, the, the opinion, in this case, the suggestion is too late. It's too late. Okay. So then it could happen, right? This is some, it sounds sometimes even like a, uh, like a regret that something that we didn't do what else but in this in this case teacher, we have to use a, a question too for example why do, why do you take a umbrella uh-huh yes why didn't you take an umbrella yes uh-huh but this in that case is like asking you first right you say, okay, why didn't you take an umbrella? Ah, because I forgot it. Or because I don't have an umbrella. Or because I, because it was sunny when I left. Mm -hmm. You can give many reasons why you didn't, okay, you didn't, uh, you didn't take the umbrella. Okay, but that case is asking for a reason. Okay, you're not uh, giving a suggestion. Remember, for statements, we must use subject plus would have or should have plus past participle plus the rest of the sentence. Okay, subject, this is for a statement. Subject, I would have, okay, I would have taken, have taken. I should have taken. Okay, for example, uh, tell me a a sentence, think about a sentence each. Okay? Using would have only, not should have. Okay, think about one sentence. For example, I would have I would have changed my my car a year ago. But I didn't have enough money. Okay. Uh, I would have, I, oh, you can, it, can be, it could be mm. negative. I wouldn't have studied, uh, uh, let's say I wouldn't have studied medicine. Okay. Mm. I would have, uh, I should have studied something else. Okay. This is, you can, it can be an affirmative or it can be a negative. Think about one using only would. Okay, are you ready? Uh-huh. For example, I would have taken the other ways. Uh-huh. I would have taken the other way, right? So you took the the, the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I would have taken the test on time. I would have taken the test on time, okay. You see that sometimes, you see for example the, what does it, how does it sound your, the, the sentences that you are given? For example, Julio says, I would have taken the other way. Like a regret? Uh-huh, like if you, for example, you know sometimes, uh, mm -hmm. It can be the, in, there can be many interpretations, right? For example, imagine that you are driving and then you take one way that ah, this way is better. But then yeah. you realize that probably the other way that you left behind, it was shorter or probably there was less traffic. And yeah. then you say, oh my God, I, I would have taken the other way, mm -hmm. the other road. Or in your life, for example, you know, you decided to to get this way instead of in your life instead of taking the other way you say well i, I would have would taken have, that i would not have way. taken the <laughs> the credit cards yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, i would have okay yeah, you can say i would have never taken never i would taken. have never accepted never ever card. ever ever <laughs> uh -huh. okay. again in the end again <laughs> good anybody else I would, we would have. Fiction. Okay, Kevin. Um, I'm not clear about when we have to use should and would. Oh, no, that's, I mean, it's just uh, remember that both of them are expressions that you, that you use in, in a moment that probably you are giving a suggestion, okay, about something that a person didn't do or what the person should have done. I mean, it's, it's just a different way to say it, okay? But tell me a sentence and, and let's see how you use it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I should have never gone croquet over the past person. About yes. gone uh, to the desert. To the, the, to the desert. Okay. To the desert. Now say the same sentence using wood. I will have uh, never gone to the desert. Okay, depends on the context, right? Depends on the context. You could use uh, a different sentence, but when you say I would have never gone to that. Uh, one and I should have never is like a uh, I should have never is like the, the regret that you went and now you decide not to have done it before right okay okay so that's yeah. the, that's, okay. that's 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 what you're doing okay this is I would have I would have gone uh, I would have never gone to that desert uh, you can even use if Okay, there could be another compliment. Okay, yes, uh, Guadalupe, I think. We can say, so we can say that the wool is like a suggestion and should is a regret. Uh, uh, no, it, it, depends, it, depends, it. it depends on what you are in the, remember that here, before this. Since we must use should have plus past participle. But in both should. cases, our opinion or suggestion is too late. Should is the opinion, right? Remember, okay. for okay. statements, we must use subject when, plus, but in both cases, that already happened. Okay, here. When an I would have called him. Okay, here. They so just would have or should have, and then to give opinions or suggestions, right? Now, when you say, what should I have done? Uh, this you have a problem before, right? You have a situation before. And they say, "What should I have done?" And then the person says, "You should have told them about it." Okay. For example, uh, I let me see. Um, I got married and I didn't tell my parents. So, what should I have done? And then you say, "You should have should told have them told about it." it. Okay, so you're giving probably uh, an opinion or an a suggestion. Opinion. Okay, 
But yeah, right. like it says after, sometimes wow. the opinion or suggestion is too late. Okay, this is okay. what you should, have, you should have done, but it's already done. <laughs> you cannot change no. it. Okay? <laughs> And then you say, why should, okay, I got married and I didn't tell my father, so what should I have done? Okay, you shouldn't have eaten it, okay? You shouldn't have eaten that from your parents, okay? Okay. Then, for example, I broke, I broke uh, my father's favorite glass, okay? And I, and I hid it uh, in a secret place. What should I have done, okay? Well, you should have told him the truth. You should have told him that you broke the glass. You shouldn't have hidden it, okay? So this is now you're telling him, and probably you can, you can go back in time and, or probably you can go back and tell your parent, okay, look, you know, this, I did this, and then you can confess your crime, okay? In the other okay. cases, what would you have done? What would you have done? For example, you know, I broke the, my father's favorite glass. What would you have done? This is something like, it's similar. If you see, it's a similar question, but in this one, what should I have done? And then in this one is like, what would you have done if you were me? Okay. If you were in my okay. shoes. And they say, well, then you say, well, I would have, uh, I would have told him the truth. Okay. okay. Uh, or you say, I wouldn't have sent, uh, I wouldn't, have hidden that from him. Okay, so then if you see, these ones are opinions. Okay, so they are okay. both, but in a different way. Okay, okay, I don't know, I don't know if we, I think there is a difference in, also in Spanish when we use it. Mm. Uh, I shouldn't have, I should have, you should have, I think it's, uh, I think we can use like, the first one is hubieras. you should have you should have fallen and the other one is I would have fallen Pudiste. Yo le habría. Pudiste. Yo le habría dicho. Tu, tu pudiste. Uh -huh. you could have because you can use you could okay mm -hmm. you could have fallen mm -hmm. you could have fallen. and, and okay. uh -huh. can we use the word must you must uh, yeah, but that's a, that would be probably you must have done, a, but it's a different kind of conditional. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. remember, remember the other day I, I showed you, it must have been. Mm -hmm. Debe haber sido, right? I, I play a song. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. It must have been. That's another one. Mm -hmm. The past. It's also in the past, but you say it must have been. A, for example, you enter the house and nobody's in the house and you find and you find that the floor is wet mm -hmm. then you say mm, it must have it must have rained mm -hmm. okay that is one possibility and the other one is uh, there must uh, okay we must have in present we must have uh let's say a leak in the roof okay, okay? so that's the so it's a different context right Okay, thank but you. Like, that's like a logical conclusion that you use must. Oh, okay. You make a conclusion, you have a logical conclusion. Okay? So, but you see, in these cases, we're talking about suggestions and opinions. Now, in this one... I wouldn't have sent him an email. When and how do we use past models? We use past models to give opinions and suggestions about actions that already happened. To give opinions, we use would have plus past participle. And to give suggestions, we use should have plus past participle. Okay, my opinion, in my opinion, I would have done this. Okay, I suggest you that you should have done this. But, but in both cases, our opinion or suggestion is too late. All right. Remember, for statements, we must use subject plus would have or should have plus past participle plus the rest of the sentence. For questions, we add WH question word plus would or should plus subject plus have plus past participle and the question mark. Let's read this situation. 
questions. It is your task to come up with suggestions. Remember, you may use would or wouldn't have or should or shouldn't have. Type your answers in our discussion box. Number one. Okay. So you here, you have here, your teacher bought your favorite book and it spilled coffee all over it. Okay, what could be, that's the situation, right? The situation. So what, what is something that I hear a noise? It's a nice, no. Okay. All right. Check if you have your microphones in mute. Or probably, okay, yes, that's it, thank you. Okay, good. Then uh, uh, let's see, what, uh, what, what, what would be here? An opinion, what would you ask for? An opinion or a suggestion? Yes. Uh -huh. What would be the suggestion? Would, how would you ask for that suggestion, Guadalupe? Maybe teacher will up near to the book. Okay, the well, uh, I, I couldn't hear you because it sounds like you know, like cut right when you speak. I think is the connection, and I just heard when the teacher okay but let's if you can write it on the on the chat it would be good but let's see here your teacher borrowed your favorite book and a spilled coffee all over it then if you said I uh, you know what I I I lent because here's a borrow he asked I lent my favorite book to my teacher and he has spilled coffee all over the book okay then you say what what would you what would you have done what would you have done if i am I'm asking here for an opinion right not a suggestion what would you have done it's already done nothing's gonna change the the, that the book is wet and probably destroyed. I would have asking for a new one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, Herbert, but remember that you had to use half plus plus participle. Because this one is the, the one that you have there is in present. And we're talking about something that is already done. Okay? The structure is okay. You should tell him, but, or what should, uh, for example, you know, in this case, you can say, you should have told him that that book was very important for you. You should, I mean, you should have asked him to take good care of that book because it was a treasure for you. Uh, or the other one you say, for example, I would have, I would have told him not to, not to expose the book to, uh, to any liquid. Okay, I would have, uh, I would have recommended him to take good care of it because the book means a lot to me. Okay, so these are you know different ways that you that probably that what you didn't do and that's probably the teacher didn't really took care of the book okay think about another one okay you can see another one here you should have told him to take good care had to take good care of it because it is unique yes sir you should have told him to take good care of it, 
of the book because it is unique. Oh, because it was in that case. Now no more. Okay, because it was. And then the teacher wouldn't have put, uh -huh, I said the teacher wouldn't have put the book near, near the coffee. Okay, near the, uh -huh, yes, that's correct. Okay, yes, that is something that you know, but it's too late. Okay, you know, I think, I think we use, we use this a lot in Spanish. We use a lot, <laughs> no, we are HS, all right? I told you, remember the famous, I told you not to. Is he your English teacher? See? Huh? <laughs> you see what happened with English teacher? <laughs> <laughs> English teacher, you borrowed your favorite book. <laughs> I didn't see her, see him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is your last class. <laughs> it, was, it was his last class. Okay, I got, I'm going to ask to uh, English Corporativo to give me the, you know, the, <laughs> the new book. A password to be, you know, to, to deny the entrance of some people <laughs> for tomorrow's <laughs> class. <laughs> <laughs> and then you say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have said that. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have That's said that. That, that is, that. Uh, that is a, uh, a regret, right? Yeah. I shouldn't have said uh, and that in front of the teacher. Ah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, what else? There is democracy, right? <laughs> what else? <laughs> okay, I see some in the chat. Okay. Okay, it says, I should have said that they had, uh -huh. I should have said that, I, I should have told him or I should have said that they had lent it to me, too. Uh -huh. Yes, George, that's a good one. You, have, you should have lent, you should have lent another book, not your favorite one. Yes, Jessica. Okay, he should be more, uh, well. This one, Laura, when you say he should be more careful, is a good sentence, but it's in present, okay? That is something, okay, that you're probably saying now, right? But this is something that happened in the past. That's what I say, read the situations in models in the past. Uh, yes, you should, okay, Jaime, you should have, you should have told him, should have told him that it is not necessary. It is not necessary. If, ah, okay, but no, but this is another situation. It is not necessary 15 more days of quarantine. Oh, yes, it is. So we can have more fun. No, mm -hmm. no more days of quarantine. Okay, what else? Next case, you saw a classmate teaching on an exam, even though Ronnie already said that. You should have asked him to share the answer with you. What would be another situation here? Mm -hmm. What is another situation? Come on, come on. Don't be shy. I know you have more. We, we don't cheating in class. <laughs> yes, we, I know. We don't say anything. Okay, then uh, <laughs> I'll give you, I will give you, let's say two minutes. Okay, two minutes no, uh, to write uh, a situation, okay, to think about a situation, okay? Suppose that you say, uh, I, I, for example, I, I discovered, okay, my, my wife's, uh, let's say, uh, a pin number. And I took her debit card and took some money from her account. What should I have done? Okay, give me your opinions or suggestions. I know Ronnie is thinking about something like, you should have taken all the money out. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Give me your I, your I mean your opinions or some suggestions. You know, I discovered the pen. I took the car. I took some money out, but she doesn't know yet. Okay. What else? Tell me, tell me. Okay, have something in the chat. You should have studied with him before the exam. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, the, 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 the last situation is I, I discover, okay, I discover my wife's PIN number. Then I took her debit card and I took some money out. I withdrew money from her account. I stole money okay, from her. You should have asked her before. Yes, okay, that's what I want. Huh, exactly. Hey, come on, Luis, come on, teacher. You should have asked her before. Yes, I know, but I, I was in an emergency, okay? Come on, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh -huh, that's the way it is. Okay, that, I mean, that's, come on, teacher. You know, you should have done that. You should have asked her first. Okay, I mean, you don't do that, okay? Good. What else? You should have to says the change the pin. You should have to say. You should have told her, her huh? to tell her to change her pin. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's that would be a good. A good After way. you draw the, 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 the <laughs> of, of course. <laughs> All right. You, you, say that, you told it. Uh, Okay, you should. Okay, you should well, have careful. Careful. You should have with told her. Document. <laughs> yes, you should have told her to change her pin number. Okay, <laughs> because you have that, that. Because you had seen it. Okay, but <laughs> Ronnie's <laughs> mind says, okay, you should have told her to change her pin number after <laughs> you withdrew the money. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. And you That's, say it's a fool. <laughs> yes. No, but it's, uh, it's funny. I like that. The two <laughs> ideas are good. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> okay, what else? Remember, the situation that we had is that I took some money from my wife's bank account. Uh -huh. Then, uh, let's say, uh, she. She should have can she she would have cancelled the uh -huh, ca the car. Okay. That would be one. Okay, now you think about a situation. Give us another situation. Change this idea and then you can think about another one. Confess. Oh, yeah. Confess something that you have done later. Sure. Sure. Sorry. Yes. Uh, she she stole money. Uh, hmm? uh, can you speak up, please, uh, Jaime? I didn't hear you. Okay. I don't understand uh, so good, but uh, she stole uh, your money. No, no, I I stole ah, you. Ah, okay. I stole her money. Yes. <laughs> the teacher. Yeah, me. <laughs> no, teachers, a, a teacher teacher sal salary, <laughs> teachers' salary nowadays are not that high, so we need money. We need to, we need to live. We need to live. <laughs> okay, because we have to find a way. To wife, because for his six. wife is the own of the salary. For the six, She's the yes, yes. For <laughs> no, yeah. you know, you know. I have to confess, it was not a six; it was a twelve. <laughs> If, I, if I'm going to do something wrong, I got to do it very well, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> because, well, okay, Be Be Beatrice knows that if I, if I steal a six-pack, but if I steal a 12-pack, it's the same, right? The, the action, the crime is the same. 
for yes. is there a difference, no, Chris? The intention. As a lawyer? <laughs> there isn't a difference. There isn't a in, difference. In right? both in both situations is is the same. It's the same, it's the same you see. Yeah. Yeah. It's because of the intention. So then so I, I have I have I, yeah. I took the twelve. Uh, <laughs> I have a su <laughs> suggestion. You are uh -huh. Yes, go ahead, Jaime. You have a suggestion. You are guilty. <laughs> sorry, you sorry. <laughs> you should have you should give her explanation of what the need was okay <laughs> you should have given her an explanation uh the need was maybe six pack <laughs> okay 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 <laughs> you should have given an explanation um about the need was. what the, uh -huh, about what the need was okay uh, Jaime, if I had given her an explanation about okay. that, I would be dead now. Okay? So, if she okay. wants to take him. listen to you. <laughs> yeah, she won't. She, won't. she, wouldn't, she wouldn't have. <laughs> she wouldn't have listened to me. Then it says, uh, you shouldn't have, for you, you shouldn't have paid, you shouldn't have taken that money, mm -hmm. or at least mm -hmm. not too much in the case you really need it. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. That's correct. No, I didn't need it. It's just an example. Thank God. Okay. Uh, another situation, people. I broke my father's cars. What should I do? What should I have done? What should I, what should I have done? I have done. Mm -hmm. Okay. You should have taken it to the mechanic, fix it, and return it to, to your father yeah. in good condition. Yeah. Okay. That could be one. Oh, you should have taken it to. You should have taken it to Jaime. And, mm -hmm. Okay, and he he could have fixed it, and then you. You would have taken it to your father. Yes, Jaime. Oh no, no, Jaime. Can you fix cars? No, no, no. No, uh, your telecommunication. Telecommunication. Telecom no, it's something else. No, I was confused. Okay, good. Then don't take it to him. He's going to <laughs> to to, yes, to get yes, it. Exactly. It's going to be worse. <laughs> okay, you should have paid the price for fixing it. Yes, you should have paid the price for fixing it. That's what Jessica uh, suggests. Good. Okay. Anybody else? Jesse? No, it's not here. Hey, George Mendoza. What's George? Up you? Where is George? What I guess George is here. Are you sleeping? Oh, no, not yet. I am here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for sleep, for wake up. <laughs> Don't worry, Ronnie. Okay, um, let's see. Sergio, I have a, I have a situation for you, okay? Um, <laughs> yes, I, you know, I, I didn't go to work today, imagine, right? I didn't go to work today, and, um, and I, because I felt, I felt uncomfortable, right? I didn't feel I didn't feel like going to work. Then I sent an email to my boss to tell him that I was sick. What should I have done? What should I have done? Uh, if you have some uh, COVID uh, symptoms, mm -hmm. you should have visited your doctor and okay. ask okay. ask him for a a, a medical uh, letter to send to your boss okay good that's you know the best thing to do right to ask for a you know for a sick leave okay and then you can present it all right what else yes Guadalupe you should have told him the truth yes okay yes you should have told him the truth 
you shouldn't have okay another way to say is you shouldn't have lied okay you should have sure. been you know you see there are many ways to say the same thing right thank you for the example Guadalupe. you should have told him the truth you should have you shouldn't have lied to him okay you should have been honest okay what is our suggestion right you should have been honest you should have seen. Uh -huh. and you should have told him that you didn't feel well i mean or you didn't feel like working okay what else what could be another situation that we can discuss? Yeah, three lawyers have another situations, a lot of situations. Mm -hmm. Yes, but in this case, you should have gotten an appointment with a doctor. Okay, better, right? You should have gotten an appointment with a doctor and and lie to the doctor, right? And lie <laughs> lie to the doctor too. <laughs> and, and you know, I try to persuade the doctor to to give me you know, a couple of days of sick leave. Free. Uh huh. Yes, a couple of days free. All right. Uh, let's see what we have. Let me see for. Your teacher borrowed your favorite book and spilled coffee all over it. So a classmate cheating on an exam. Okay. Then, uh, tomorrow we're gonna do the knowledge check using this structure. And I will send you probably later. Yes, I'll try to do it later. Some other examples right using this this uh this structure so that we can that you can practice it and then for tomorrow we only have the the check knowledge check and the final action and the reading by the way how are you doing with the with the exercises and everything are you okay. all done? are you all done with the platform no. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Did you get yes. your diploma? Not yet. Not yet. I think Not yet. Eric, Eric is celebrating. That's why he didn't come. I mean, he didn't join in today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he always finishes before. Yeah. <laughs> so then that's probably his. He's celebrating. Okay. So then uh, we're gonna stop here for today and check the the topics that we have seen the. The if clauses and the uh, and the and the past models that we have studied today. Okay, so that you can have a better idea tomorrow. Okay, so it's probably okay. in this moment I know I'm sure that you are just trying to not to, to understand to assimilate. The, uh -huh, yes. Yes. Yeah. And then yeah. uh, tomorrow is going to be better. And I'm going to send you some uh, some information. Okay. Uh, uh, later. We're on the last case. Last clip tomorrow, tomorrow. yes, tomorrow, is the tomorrow. Last clip. Uh -huh. but we're almost done. In the next, the next level, teacher is not yet. No, I think it's uh, ten for the English, please. Um, July 6. I asked today, and they told me that they are going to give you more information, that they are going to call you and give you more, uh, more information about it. That's what they, they told me today. Okay, so I'm sorry, teacher. Yes, when when is the when is the last day to finish uh, the exercise in the platform? Friday, this Friday. Friday. This Friday. Uh -huh. Tomorrow oh my God. is the last class. Okay. And okay. On, and the last day is on on Friday. Friday, but I guess that they always give you one or two more days. Okay, like but Saturday two. probably. Uh -huh. but, uh, Maybe the but weekend. Maybe the weekend, right? But try to have it ready by by friday as at least you know to get the the eight and after okay. you can continue with the rest until you close the the, the platform okay okay if, if you have way you you can help us <laughs> <with the time. laughs> no you know i told you that if you have doubts because uh sometimes i uh, uh, actually what it happens remember uh, that 
well, you have experienced this many times before, is that um, sometimes you probably have all the sentence, the, the sentence is correct, but probably you you uh, you miss the the period, or yeah. probably you are using just one word or one letter, and then uh, and then it gives you a wrong answer. And probably it's just one little thing, and, that, and most of the sentence is correct. It has happened, you know, to to me yeah. here when we are doing the exercises. So whenever you have those doubts, you know, send me a, a, a the image and tell me what exercise you're having problem with, and then you know I can I can help you and give you some tips. Okay. So then okay. Don't, don't worry about that. Okay, that's for for everyone. Uh -huh. all, all the class has square here, right? No okay. Teacher, the, yes. the discussion is ne is necessary uh, uh, fill the discussion box or just the exercise that no, the, the knowledge check the knowledge checks um, uh, and, and the exam. midterm the midterm exams. Uh -huh. Fine. Okay. Yes, Thank the you. discussion is what we do in the chat, right? It's something like you know that is the practice that we have every day. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Herbert, uh -huh. That's, that happens very often. So let me know when you have that problem, okay? Okay, okay good. Yes, uh, then that's all for today, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. So we're gonna have a virtual party tomorrow, okay? Uh, Ron is bringing the, bringing the music, the drinks, beverages. The music, Gio. Uh, yeah. Yes, 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 I The music and beer. And the green ones. The green and yes, the and then uh, Ronnie is in charge of the rest. <laughs> yes. Gio the music and Ronnie the rest. Okay, but I I, I am DJ, DJ. And picture, <laughs> no, that's picture me. the DJ. That, that's me. That's me. DJ, with, DJ. My, with the videos. Okay, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Take care. Good night. 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 Good night.